the peace and quietness of Okada town in Ovia northeast local government area of Edo State was disturbed by the shocking news of the alleged murder of a 64-year-old farmer by Fulani Hensman in a bush close to the victim's farm. The incident threw the immediate family of the deceased, Mr. Alex Sigemitin, into mourning as sympathizers and family members besieged the home of the deceased to commiserate with them. Speaking with the news crew, the bereaved wife, Mrs. Margaret Sigemitin, said her husband left home on Wednesday morning for his farm and did not return, a development which made her to raise an alarm, and a search party was dispatched in search of him in the farm, where he was discovered to be murdered in a nearby bush close to the farm. They kill her leave this much, much children, they should never go anywhere. No, they kill her leave so. The person not be beating me at the children. You know, get what they will do. Well, I knew that they can't let my go there. I used to have a little bit of a farm that they kill them. Now, full and they never leave their butter for them. When they was here, they carry the wall of the leave their sadness. And people say they never see full and for that area yesterday with their llama. A visit to the scene of the incident shows that the remains have been evacuated from the scene, but footage of the pictures obtained from family members and the bloodstains that littered the scene suggested that he was gruesomely murdered. Some family members who witnessed the evacuation of the remains of the farmer by men of the Okada Police Division narrate their experience. I followed the, the policemen and the family members who came here to, to uh, take him to the mortuary. So when we got here, actually, he was mashed on his back, on his back of his head, the back all over his part of his body was fully mashed. So at the later end, after the matter finished killing him, they cut off his neck and they also stabbed him on his stomach. Even showed that he was also stabbed. I describe it as a, a dastardly act of uh, wickedness. And uh, I want the uh, federal government to really look at uh, this type of a situation so that uh, it will not occur anywhere in Nigeria. It's a bad habit. I never I expect this thing that will happen to my brother. Yesterday, yesterday evening when I came back from my place of work, is there the woman told me that his, my, his, his husband ha, haven't come back from farm. By this time he said yes. Ah, why? What happened? He said he don't know. I'll be calling his number but the number is going and it's not responding. So I have to say okay let us go to this to, to the where he go to farm. And I, and I took a touch and went to this place. Getting to this place, what I saw over my body, that is why I just ran back home to refer to more boys. That night, around 10 o'clock, we were in this bush. This is my, uh, my cousin that just died now. He used to complain all the time that all those, uh, uh, our, all those uh, mala, they used to carry their cow to come and destroy in your own crow. Yeah. I believe it's through them that this, this thing occurred. The policemen should be, take very proper investigation about this issue, or X, other things will happen more than this. And for my own view, we, after this incident happened, we take it back to the uh, Fulani's camp. We find nobody there. The whole of them have disappeared. disappeared from that place. And so when we came back to the station, telling them what we just observed. They said that we should not take laws into our hands. And when you see that human be like you, slaughter your own blood brother. Also speaking, Zio Jongwe of Okada Pa Emuzi or Moma Gyowawi decried the ugly incident and called for by investigation of the incident and the brains behind the killing brought to justice. <laughs> The allegation of murder by the Fulani henchmen prompted the news crew to visit the Fulani camp in Okada, where we discovered that the camp has been deserted, and so we could not get their reaction. However, a few minutes later, the news crew was alerted that the camp has been set ablaze by some unknown persons, which prompted a return to the camp. In his reaction, the divisional police officer, Okada Police Station, Mr. Abdullahi Wasa, who confirmed the alleged murder off camera, said the police have commenced investigations into the matter 
and that the incident has been reported at the Edo State Police Headquarters. The body of Mr. Igemiti, who hails from Owa Logbo, in East Soko North's local government area of Delta State, has been deposited at the mortuary. Deborah Ugbefun reporting.